Hello Internet, um, today I just wanted to make an informal video to kind of show you some of the things that we've been developing in the background that you haven't got to see yet through updates just because of how long uh, these things kind of take but they they have been a real commitment in terms of development time and such but uh, there's just been no opportunity for um, you guys, our players, to see them yet. So the first thing I'd like to show a bit of is the um, tutorial. So. Um, this is the start of the tutorial. It has a credits introduction. So the player walks down to this um, training camp and then they find this guy, and this is the tutorial NPC. So he'll, um, you know, talk to you through this chat box, and you basically say to him that you want to be trained, and that's how you start the tutorial. And the first thing the tutorial teaches is um, directional attacking, obviously, because that's kind of the heart of the the melee system in Chaos. So we start by you, uh, using fruit chopping to do that. So this one you meant to chop horizontally. Ding, did that right and then you get another uh, fruit that you're meant to chop vertically ah, I did it wrong there we go now it works and then at the end of um, each tutorial segment there's meant to be a kind of test because I want these tutorials really to make sure that someone knows the mechanics as soon like once they've completed the tutorial there's really no um, no room left for them to you know be confused about that particular thing so this um the direction so you swing through this gap and each time you get it right um the gap will change position and then you have to um adjust so if you hit the sides of the thing it obviously bounces straight off and you're wrong so once you've done this right five times in a row yeah you'll notice the counter doesn't work that's gonna count from five to zero also, it probably won't spray out uh, loads of blood in the final version. So, um, thanks to uh, Murakai for suggesting that. He's suggested a spinning shield idea, and I think that really works well. So that shows you the start of the tutorial, and then from there, we don't want to keep people in formal like learning for too long. We'd rather get them out into the game. So the next bit is going to be this um, survival game where you're escorting this caravan which gets ambushed and then you'll just get like attacked by some pretty easy enemies which hopefully you know how to fight now because you've done the first part of the tutorial. So the tutorial is something that's been taking <coughs> a long time and hopefully it'll be ready for you guys to um, test out soon because we're really keen to see if it you know if it works if it's adequate for teaching people and yeah the only way we'll know is when you guys actually try it. So another thing I wanted to address is that I do realize um, that the game does have some um, pretty bad crashes on some people's computers at the moment which are really um, keeping you from enjoying the game and that's a, that's a big problem so I just wanted to give you some insight in what we're doing to solve that. At the moment a lot of work has gone into porting the game engine over from UDK to UE3. So what porting that game engine means is that on UE3 we'll have, um, you know, we do have full source code access of the engine which um, allows us to be able to get much deeper into uh, issues like crashes or um, like low level technical problems like that so hopefully that means it'll enable us to to much more easily debug and fix these problems. Another thing that's been going on in the background is we, um, you know, we have taken note that there was a game idea uh, posted on the discussion boards which everyone uh, really seemed to have strong opinions on and it's actually something that I've been thinking about myself for um, quite a long time so we have actually sort of started prototyping that idea uh, in the game so like I said we are still just um, like prototyping um, and we don't really have a very dense world yet but we do have a map that is it's really big and takes 
very long time to uh, to run across. Um, it's not particularly detailed, but like I said, it's it's just sort of a test for now. So the idea with this um, level is basically that it would just be a single um, huge map that doesn't uh, it doesn't time out, it doesn't run out, um, and you can have you know however many players in it, you know up to like 50 or 100, however much the network can take, and um, and the world would just be persistent. So however you leave it, that's how it would um, be when you come back. Another thing that a fair amount of work has gone into and uh, should be ready pretty soon is uh, ranks and competitive matchmaking. So you'll be able to play a match, um, hopefully with a party of, of your friends against another party, and that'll all be scored and your rank will go up or down depending on your individual performance. Let me just fly the uh, editor camera around here. Maybe I can turn the fog off of... yeah, there we go. Yeah, so the whole map's basically a big, big long island. And I said on the forums it takes about three minutes to walk across it. So if you were to start somewhere and <laughs> walk over the, the volcano, that would take you, you know, sprinting full speed. It, it would take you um, a few minutes before you got, you know, all the way from one side to the other. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out and seeing like how the service handle um, yeah that's about all I have to say in this video if you um, want to see more of this kind of behind the scenes um, you know insights from us please tell us in the comments or on the discussion because we you know we are listening to you guys so um, the more active you are the more it helps us make something that you're that you guys want so so please um, keep up with that and um, Thanks for watching.